Hello, this is Tov from Trifle Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to show you an add-on that's going to help you, especially if you're a beginner in Blender specifically, and it's going to help you navigate and access all kinds of features in Blender just straight away. It's called the Go Panels add-on, and I'll leave a link of it uh, below this video so you can download it yourself and check it out. The process is still the same in terms of installation. Once you've downloaded it onto your system, go to Edit, Preferences, uh, then go to Install, and navigate to where you've installed it. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done that myself. Let me type it in here, and then just put a check in the box, and then it's set to go. Now I'm going to keep this panel open so you can see what uh, you can adjust. Actually. Once you've uh, installed it in Blender, it's right over here in the user interface here. It's pretty straightforward. Um, let me see. You can make any kinds of adjustments you want to the appearance, <coughs> excuse me, of the add-on. You can change the name of it here. Click in there, change the name of it if you want to. Uh, you can keep it on to check for updates. You can determine how frequent you want your updates to happen. Uh, you can uh, have the labels appear or disappear. Once you've clicked on the mold labels, it makes those titles of the panels appear and disappear. And I would keep that on because it will let you know what mode of blender that you're in. You can determine the size of the buttons, the number of columns, four or five or six. Uh, you can click through these options here to set up what, uh, I guess, tools you want to appear in the panel here. And this is all so, th things you can just test yourselves and just see how you want to look in the user interface. But what I want to check out is how well it works inside of Blender. Because if it works the way it's advertised, this is something that every beginner should use. For myself, um, <clears throat> It's not really something I would use because I've been using Blender for like a long time, so I'm used to the keyboard shortcuts. But if you're a, a beginner in Blender, you should you need to get this add-on. And you can use it in any version of Blender from, from 2.8 to 3.5. I'm using 3.4. But let's click on our cube there and delete that. Let's test the add-on here. And then let's press Shift A. And we're going to go to let me see. Suzanne the monkey. You, you can see that once we've clicked, that's something I never noticed before. Once you have an object in your scene, if you delete the object, it deletes the panel, which I guess is helpful to uh, eliminate crowding on this side. But yeah, that's that's a good option to have. We're going to make Suzanne smooth by going to our modifier stack here. Add modifier. And I'm going to click on subdivisions, double that up, and click on apply. Press W on our keyboard, right click, and shade smooth. That's, this is a little bit different from you know the other setup that I have in other versions of Blender. But let's see how well this add-on works. Now we're going to go to, uh, let's say, instead of having to click over here, let's click through all of our clicking and all of our choosing of our tools on this side. Just left click there. That's the move gizmo. That works pretty well. Let's rotate. That works well too. That's nice. Um, let me see. I think here, this actually adds different objects to your scene in Blender. Let's left click on that. And the way it does it, uh, it I think either 3ds Max or Maya uh, imports objects into uh, the user interface this way. Left click and drag, then drag up without clicking, and that makes a cube. And I think all the objects act that way. Left click and drag and pull up left click okay so yeah that's pretty nice it imports uh mesh objects the basic ones basically like it does Maya or 3ds max so that's that's nice but let's delete uh well, let's keep those in there we don't need to delete them let's click on suzanne again let's go back to our move gizmo left click on uh suzanne and let's go to our edit options now in the regular blender way of going into edit mode is by pressing tab on your keyboard or clicking uh, one of the options up here to 
bring out the edit option for Blender. But once again, this tool eliminates that. So let's see what this part does. Um, some of these tools I don't really use all that much, but there's a cursor option. Okay. And it goes straight into edit mode on what we've clicked. It doesn't affect the other meshes because those are other objects. Only affects the mesh that you've chosen. Uh, this is circle select. Let's see how that works. Oh, that's nice. Uh, this is another form of selection here. Circle select. That works well too. Hmm. Wow, this is uh this is actually pretty nice. Let's go to the sculpt aspect of it. And when we go to sculpt, what it should do, what I'm thinking it should do is that it should go back straight into object mode so we can actually sculpt in Blender. So let's click on that, and it does. And it allows us to sculpt. And when you hover your mouse over any of these uh, thumbnails, it'll tell you what the uh, what the tool does. It's clay thumb. That means you can use like your like in real life, use your thumb to press up against your clay to push it in. Uh, let me see what this does. This do. That's another option there. And this one, <coughs> excuse me. This is the fill tool. Okay. And it fills in. It's filling in the uh, ear of the monkey. Wow. And the vertex paint, like weight painting, click on that. Okay. Vertex paints, weight paint is those are two different things. Uh, weight paint. Let's click on that. And it puts us in the weight paint mode. Huh. This is actually a nice tool, and it has texture options too for texture painting. So yeah, this is a really nice tool, and it does what it says it does, what it's supposed to do, which is eliminating all the keyboard shortcuts having to go to different parts of your menu uh, at the top and the user interface on the side and it just keeps everything stationary on one side of your user interface so you can use it on your um, objects in Blender. So yeah, this is a tool, a must-have for any Blender user that's just a beginner. And yeah, this works really well. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip, and I hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching. Um, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.